y'all. Let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda, Israel from the Pastor Derek on the early what I see through switch study and prayer line on this 19th day in August 2024. We back at it for some more. Y'all, we back at it like a fanatic in the Think series. We on part eight, P8, y'all. Hallelujah. Who thank the most high for Elder Yosef holding down the conference line and being faithful to y'all as usual. We got Chantel in the building and my mom, Big Ed in the house. We got Rando in the building. My mother-in-law is up in here. Melissa Green is in the house. We got Al Mamma, Pal, and Stone. Hallelujah. Um, yeah, that's what we got. We got Nicole Robinson in the building. Those of you that's on Facebook, feel free to push the share button, share your platforms with two for the word, get your tag game going, invite some folks on in, <clears throat> and let's get back in this, uh, in this word. Ah, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's go to First Peter thirteen. Hallelujah. Okay, 13, y'all. <clears throat> Latricia Johnson and Royal Booze in the building. Don Dame, see ya. I see ya. Look what they say, y'all. <clears throat> it says, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. Right? Gird up the loins of your mind. You're thinking. Right? Collect your thoughts. Gird. Collect. And then, like, strap them in. You know how you gird up your loins with a belt? Buckle them up. You know. Well, for gird up the loins of your mind. Can y'all see that? Well, for gird up the loins of your mind, be sober. And hope to the end of the for, for uh, and hope uh, to the end for the unmerited favor that is to be brought onto you at the revelation of Yahushua Hamashiach, at the revelation of the Messiah. Gird up your minds. You do it. You take responsibility for your thinking. You got you got to be you got to be at the door of your mind and watching thoughts to go by <clears throat> and cast and allow the word to cast down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yah against the word of Yah because the word of Yah is His knowledge. Is y'all listening? Guard your heart. You 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 on post. A thought comes, you got to look at that joke and say, is this of Yah? Is this going to, or is this going to take me away from Yah? Well, for gird up the loins of your mind. <clears throat> Be sober. Can y'all do that? Be sober. And hope to the end. Because hope is what births your faith. That's the platform that 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 produces faith, because faith is the substance of things hoped for. Mm -hmm. you, you're you're, you're <clears throat> believing and trusting Yah at His word, based on 
what you're hoping for. You trust in the most high for what you hope for. And you're hoping to be reconciled with him. You hope to be acceptable in his sight. And it says hope to the end. Mm -hmm. For the grace, that's that unmerited favor. For the grace that is to be brought onto you at the revelation of Yahushua HaMashiach. <clears throat> Can y'all see that? Gird up your thinking, y'all. Come on. It's, this whole battle is in, in, in your head. This think P8, y'all. Part 8. G-Man, I see you in here. 1 Peter 1 and 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of, of your mind. Be sober. And hope to the end of the grace that's been brought on to you. At the revelation, because he's coming back. At the revelation of Yahushua HaMashiach. Nephew, Johnson, Jamie, and put up a cheer. We in here. Uh, I see you in here, Banks. Is y'all with me? Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end of the grace that is to be brought to you, onto you at the revelation of Yahushua. He coming back, but let's talk. <clears throat> Soon as you get the revelation of him. Yeah. Grace is on the scene. His unmerited favor to carry you over from start to, to the end. From, from the start to the finish. Can y'all see that? 1 Peter 1 and 13. Wherefore, gird up, <clears throat> take responsibility, y'all. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. You got to watch how you think. A thought come to you. Do you know enough word to look and see if that thought came from Yah or did it come from the enemy? Did it come from your carnal evil nature? Did it? Where that thought come from for you to do that or to say that or to go there or to hang with them? Come on, where that thought come from to smoke that? Where'd it come from? You got to learn to gird up the loins of your mind. Be on guard. By word if I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Get on that. <clears throat> You feeling horny. Thoughts come to handle it. What you gonna do with that thought? Go do it? Then you didn't you didn't gird up the loins of your mind. Any thought uh, 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 slide through your head, and now you're on some dumb stuff. Cause you received it. Cause you like your flesh too much. You rolling with your evil nature too much. You're taken captive by your thoughts. Gird up the loins of your mind. Be sober and hope to the end for the grace, that unmerited favor. You hope it to the end for the grace that is to be brought onto you. He's going to give you unmerited favor <clears throat> to get you to the finish line and to present you blameless before his presence. That's that unmerited favors is able to do that. But what we got to do, gird up the loins of your mind, looking on the Yahushua, which is the word, who is the author and finisher of our faith, looking on to the word. Grateful for who brought you the word, the most high in the body of the son. <clears throat> Are you with me, Sophia? Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. Yeah. Be sober. And hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought onto you at the revelation of Yahushua HaMashiach. 
as obedient children. You see that? What kind of children? Obedient? <clears throat> obedient to what? To what the word say. To what the most high say. This ain't lawlessness. This ain't a wicked uh, uh, Christian. Sinful. Is y'all listening? This, this ain't what this is. Fornicating at the strip club Christian. This ain't what this is. As obedient children. Is y'all listening? <clears throat> As obedient children. Not fashioning yourselves according to the formal lust in your ignorance. See, you was ignorant. <clears throat> I was too. We was ignorant. Void of the most high. We said there was a God, but it wasn't according to his word. We made up his personality according to what we wanted. <clears throat> yeah. The only thing we knew is he was loving and forgiving. We didn't know what it took for to activate his love and forgiveness. His love is already there, but it don't work for us unless we're obedient. <clears throat> His wrath is working against us until we're obedient. We didn't know that, though. Is y'all listening? We didn't know that our lifestyle kept us on the most high's bad side. But, but through his uh, patience, he didn't destroy us. But his wrath was on us. Yeah. And this wrath is is, is going to be poured out on earth. And it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living Elohim. Because he's alive and he's upset. Bible says he's angry with the wicked every day. Jasmine uh, Tuck, you with me? <clears throat> he's angry with the wicked every day. And though he's angry, his love is being poured out because he don't want to pour out his wrath on you. Is y'all listening? I see you, mom. <clears throat> Look what it says, 14 verse. As obedient children, not fasting yourselves according to the form of lust in your ignorance. We was ignorant going after our lust on a money chase. Trying to satisfy our, lu our lust and our desires. Having a bunch of illegal sex. Living in a way that ain't cool. Can I teach today? <clears throat> First Peter 1 and 14, y'all. <clears throat> 15 now. But as he <clears throat> which has called you is holy. Who called us? And what's his character like? Kadesh. He's the Ruach HaKadesh. What, the, what they call holy. But as he which has called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. If you look up conversation, it means lifestyle. And with Kadesh. Being led by the Ruah, that is Kadesh, holy. In all manner of lifestyle. Are y'all with me? Because it is written, look what's written. <clears throat> Be ye holy, for I am holy. Y'all see that? Be holy. Because who called us is holy. And if, and if you call on the Father, who without respect to persons, did y'all hear that part? Jew or Greek or Gentile. The Yahudim, this is spiritual, y'all. Oh, he's going to judge the world for what they did to his children. And he's going he gonna to deliver his children. And his children represents the uh, uh, ecclesia, the congregation. What they call the church, 
is really the, 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 the seed of Abraham. What they call the church. The seed of Abraham is like the sand at the seashore because it's earthly, bloodline. But he also got children like the stars in the sky. That's spiritual. So what they call the church is, is really <clears throat> the seed of Abraham. Yeah. Yeah, assembly, ecclesia, congregation, Sophia. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> and it, <clears throat> so, so the 71st say, and, and if you call on the father who without respect to persons judges according to every man's work. Rhonda Ponda, it ain't to skin you in. He made it plain that he's going to rescue his children. Is y'all listening? He made it plain he's going to rescue his children. Those that were shipped into slavery, those that were scattered to the four corners of the earth, he said he's going to rescue them and he's going to pay these pe wicked people for, for, for doing what they did to him. They made it a skin thing. Because all melanated skin ain't, 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 ain't Israel, ain't Yasharel. Yeah, you got, you got some Hamites, including the Egyptians, with melanated skin, black, dark-skinned folk. But they're not bloodline, Abraham. They're not Israel. Is y'all listening? It's not the skin you in. Is your spiritual condition. Yeah. And if you call on the father who without respect to persons judges according to every man's works, how are you living? You living how you thinking. That's why we, we got to go through the mind renewal process because how you think, so a man think if so is he. Proverbs 23 and 7. Yeah. And if you call on the Father, who without respect of persons judges according to every man's work, past the time of your sojourning here in fear. We're sojourning, y'all. We're in our land of captivity where they hate us. They're shallow enough to hate you because of the color of your skin. Bev, you with me? Yeah, 1 Peter 1 and... In 17, <clears throat> pull up a chair, we in here. And if you call on the Father, right, that's what we should be doing, calling on the Most High. Now, they're going to talk about his character. Who without respect to persons judges according to every man's work. Past the time of, of your sojourning here in fear, you should be in the land of captivity and fear, not of them. You ain't it ain't about being scared of them. He said, Don't 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 be afraid of him that can destroy the body. Be afraid of the one that can destroy the body and cast your soul into hell. Don't worry about these wicked folk. It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of a living Elohim. We gotta get our head right, y'all. We got we got to let the Most High and His Word deal deal, deal with our stinking thinking. <clears throat> it's all in how you think, y'all. Mm -hmm. For as much as you eighteen, y'all eighteenth verse. For as much <clears throat> as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things. So this is not natural stuff, right? We weren't redeemed with corruptible things. As silver and gold. See, folks, is on a silver and gold chase. For as much as you know that you are not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold for your vain conversations, that's in vain lifestyles, chasing material things. From your vain conversation received by traditions of, uh, uh, from, from your father. Now, <clears throat> 
since the audience that he's teaching or those that show up to synagogues in the house of prayer, right? So the lifestyle and traditions of your fathers, that's approaching Yah according to corruptible things, natural things. But to have a true relation with the Most High is spiritual. He's not impressed with our natural worship. That's not what impresses the Most High. What, what impresses the Most High is being obedient to his word. Yeah. To obey is better than sacrifice. And to hearken than the fat of the ram. Hallelujah. Lane Hart, y'all with us? <clears throat> For as much as you that you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversations received by the traditions of your fathers. But with the with the precious blood of the Messiah, as of a lamb without blemish. And without spot. Did y'all hear that? Yeah. It, it ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't money. It ain't houses and cars. It's not material gain and material things. Right? <clears throat> Nineteen first say, uh, but with the precious blood uh, uh, of the Messiah. See, there was a man that died for you. Hallelujah. Somebody died for you. Died on that tree. Rose again with all power. So now we can switch from the natural. Because when he died on that tree as a man, he paid for the sins of man. And you were baptized into his death when you believed. Y'all hear that? You were baptized into his death. Romans the sixth ch ch chapter. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Y'all forbid. Know you not that so many of us was baptized into the Messiah, was baptized into his death, and being uh, 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 buried together with him in death. Now we walk in the newness of life. Did y'all know that? Yeah, now we got a new life. It's spiritual now. We're done with the flesh. We're not running around here like a dog in heat no more. Pimps and players. Thoughts and thoughts and, 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 and twerk us. We, we ain't into that no more. Right? We're not into the strip club no more, into getting high and drunk, alcoholic. We ain't into that no more. But with the precious, we are saved with the precious blood of the Messiah as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. The blemish and the spots is sin. He didn't have none of that. Right? Back to 18. So, so, so we weren't saved by ritualistic rituals. From the lifestyle received by the tradition of the fathers. Commandments on stone. Jeremiah 31 and 31 said he was entering into a new covenant with Israel. He didn't say the church. Judah and Israel. Israel and Judah. He's entered into a new covenant. Not like, not like the covenant he made with our forefathers when he took them by the hand and brought them out of Egypt. No. He made that covenant with them at Mount Sinai when he put his word on stone. Jeremiah say, uh, which covenant they break, even though I was a husband unto them. But this shall be the new covenant I make with them. I'm going to put my word in their heart, not on stone. The stone is gone. The Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit of Yah, the word is going to be in our hearts, and our heart is our thinking. We're going through the mind renewal process. Our thinking going to change. Now running around here trying to lay up on masters, just 
mat, drink, drinks with umbrellas hanging out of them. We on mattresses and we want to we want to dress in a way that somebody want to rape us, huh? Men and women dress in a way, showing your packages. You want to flop it around and twerk and tat it up. You want to you want to tat it. Make sure they see it. You don't live like that no more. For as much as you know, 18 verse, for as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things, commandments on stone, corruptible things. The eternal life part of the Ten Commandments is the word. Now the stone is gone because the stone represented us, our hard-headedness, our stony, disrespectful, Lifestyles, what the Bible calls conversations. That's gone. As we receive the tradition of the fathers. No, something new going on. He said he was going to enter into a new covenant with Israel and Judah because there's something new going on. Can you see it? Can you see there's something new going on? Oh, we just begun. Put a one. Can you see that there's something new going on? Put a one in here if you can see it. Yeah. 19. But with the precious blood of the Messiah, that's a game changer right there. He signed the contract with his blood. The first contract was signed with the blood of animals. Jeremiah was talking about this new, something new jumping off, and it's going to be signed with the blood of the Messiah. In order for you to open up a will, it got to be the death of the tester. The person who will it is got to die. Is y'all listening? 19 verse. But with the precious blood of the Messiah, as of a lamb without blemish and, and, and without spot. 20. Who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world. Did y'all hear that? This was ordained before the Most High said, let there be light. Before he started creating, he knew the ending from the beginning. He knew that he was going to create a people that he gave free will to and, 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 and he gave them a shot at the title, but they wasn't willing to do. They wouldn't. They they, they wouldn't do. They couldn't do it. And he knew that he was going to have to do it for them. And he was willing to become one of them. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. John one and fourteen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt the mud. Because John 1 and 1 say in the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah. And the word was Yah. Meaning Yah is his word. Yeah, he can talk. And what he said was him. His voice was with him and it was him. The word was with him and was him. The same was in the beginning with him. All things was made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. Everything he made, he made it through his word. Well, Adam went against the word and then death came on the scene because what sustained us and kept us alive is the word. What created us was the word. And when Adam went against the word, death came on the scene. So the second Adam, the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. He made this up. He, he decided he was willing to do that before the foundation of the world. You're not making androids. You're not making folk uh, that don't have a will. He got a will. He gave you one. You were made in his image. And in, in order to give you a will, you're not a robot. You're not AI. And now he gave you a will, and he knew you weren't going to be able to do it. He said, I'll do it for you. So when the smoke clear, love is on the scene. Because if you're a robot, it ain't love. If you're, if you're a computer a program, it ain't love. 
You don't have a choice in the matter. But when he give you choice, those that love him, love righteousness, love wanting to do what's right, those are the ones that's going to make it. Th those are the ones he's going to live in eternity with. If it's true, put it to. If it's true, put it to. I see you in here, Victoria. Stay with me. Who verily, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. Galatians 4 and 4 say, when the fullness of time was come, Yah sent forth his son made of a woman, made under the law. Yeah, because he was going to keep the law for us. Because we couldn't do it. Y'all listening? Twenty first verse say, "Who by him do believe in the Most High? We believe in the Most High through you, the Messiah. When, when the Word came on our level, see, He was too far for us. We blew it. We was disconnected. So He came on our level." And what better way to come on our level than to become one of us? And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. First Timothy 3 and 16 got involved and said, without uh, controversy, great is the mystery of Yahliness. Say, Yah was manifested in the flesh, justified the spirit, seen of angels, preached on the Gentiles, believed on in the world, and received back up in the Kabbah, in the glory, what they call it. Y'all listening? So the 21st verse is teaching us, who... <clears throat> Uh, who by him do believe in the in the we believe yeah that's the way we think we are believers sex ain't better than him drinking ain't better than him getting high ain't better than him Vegas ain't better come on y'all the after hours ain't better than the most high. Yeah. Who, uh, who by him do believe in in in, 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 in Yahuwah that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory that your faith and hope might be in the Most High? Can y'all see that? That, that, your, that your faith and hope might be in the most high. Oh, that's good stuff. Seeing you have purified your souls, how? In obeying the truth through the Ruah, onto unfeigned love of the brethren. See that you love one another with a pure heart fervently. Did y'all hear that? We got to learn to love one another fervently. Yeah. Seeing you have purified your souls. How? In obeying the truth through the spirit onto unfeigned love. If you have, <clears throat> if, if, listen, if, if this is how you purify your souls, you, you see this, Le Leslie Sutton, uh, first Peter one and 22, you, you, I'm, this is showing you how to purify your soul, right? Seeing you have purified your souls in obeying the truth. When you obey the truth, you're purifying your soul. You know, obeying the word is how you purify your soul. If you're not obeying the word, your soul ain't purified. You ain't cold. Can y'all see that? We got to change the way we think, y'all. The word come to, to clean up your stinking thinking. Listen, 22nd verse says, seeing you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren unwavering love for the brethren, for the believer, even when they wrong. See that you love one another with a pure heart faith, uh, fervently. Y'all see that? You, we got to love one another with a pure heart. Seeing you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit onto unfeigned love of the brethren. See that you love one another with a pure heart fervently.
Do y'all see that? It's how you purify your souls. In obeying the word. And if you obey the word, it's going to teach you how to love the brethren. Bible say, oh, no man, nothing. But love, but to love one another. Especially those of the household of faith. Is y'all listening? Seeing that you have purified your soul. Can y'all see that? How many want a purified soul? If you do, put a two. You want a purified soul. Oh, no man, nothing. Do right by those of the household of prayer. You can tell when a person loves the most high because they love the people of Yah and the things of Yah. Is y'all listening? You can you can you you can you can see when somebody loves the brethren. You can see it. Because they do right by the house of prayer. Especially those of the household of faith. They're not users. Oh no man, nothing. They're not the users. Is y'all listening? Ferguson, I'm teaching. First Peter 1, 22. Seeing you are purified, that's how you purify your souls. In obeying the truth through the Spirit, unto you through the Spirit, it leads you onto unfeigned love of the brethren. See that you love one another with a pure heart fervently. 23. Being born again, not of corruptible seed. The first seed we was born of was our father, our natural fathers. Being born again, that's why you had to be born again. And then you had to go through the mild renewal process. Because not only did you have to be born again, but the stinking thinking we was born it with, that stinking thinking, born in sin and shape of iniquity, don't work in Yah's kingdom. It don't work. You got, you got to change. You got to work out your soul salvation with, 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 with fear and trembling. Are y'all listening? You're right, Lane Hart. The Messiah is the pure heart, but he told us to be pure too. That's what this is saying. See, this, this is for us. He definitely is the pure heart, but what about us? And that's why 22 said, seeing you have purified your soul. See, he want, the Most High want us to be pure. See, we not on that, uh, he pure and we not. We not on that, on that Catholicism. He did it all and we ain't got nothing to do. No, you purify yourself. Seeing that you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit, through obeying the, are y'all listening? Repent and change. You're right, Elaine Hart. That's how you do it. Seeing that you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Ruah onto unfeigned love of the brethren. See that you love one another with a pure heart fervently too. Not just love them, fervently. Are y'all with me? Being born again, not of the corruptible seed. How we used to do it in our first birth, when we were born of our mothers, from our father's seed. No, that don't work here. You know how we proud of our last name and how crazy we is and how our our families don't 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 play that. We don't take no mess. No, uh uh. Get get rid of that. Being born again, not of corruptible seed. Can y'all see that? Not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible. That's the switch. Now we got a whole nother thing going on. We're not just religious, wicked religious people. I know a bunch of wicked religious people. I know a bunch of them. You can go to church and get you some good fornication. Get high and drunk. You might make it to the pulpit have, having sex with folks in the pulpit. Deac the deacon in them. Preacher. Watch your little boys around some of them. 
Is you listening? Watch your little girls around some of them. Is you listening? Being, be, be, being, being born again, not of corruptible seed. See, that's your father's seed right there. Like to touch folk. Touch it. Would you touch it? Not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of Yah. Did y'all see that part? By the word of Yah, which liveth and abideth forever. What liveth and abideth forever? The word, y'all. Mm -hmm. 24. For, for, for all flesh is as grass. It's, 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 it's fading away. You with me, Ferguson? It's fading away. We, we lost our Yorkie. Our Yorkie died yesterday. It was, uh, that was rough on the family. Because his little flesh, he was a teacup too. Little dude. We had him for 13 years. Yeah. Little dude died on me. Heartbreaking. He died on me yesterday. We crying and, you know. Because the little flesh is as grass. It's like a vapor of smoke period for a moment and then vanish away. Us too. We ain't going to stay here. Is y'all listening? For all the flesh is as grass. And all the glory of man as the flower of grass. Y'all see that? Big old green, beautiful lawn. I used to be like a beautiful lawn at one time. Now I'm getting a little, now, now, now it's fading away like the flower would do. Is you listening to me? I ain't handsome like I used to be. It's cool. This is how, this is, you ain't either. <laughs> this is how it work, y'all. The only one that stayed beautiful through the process is my wife, see? Is y'all listening? Listen, 24 for, for all flesh is as grass and all the glory of man as the, as the flower of grass, the grass where, with, where, with, with, where, and the flower withereth. I am tripping for real. And the grass withereth and the flower thereof faileth, uh, 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 falleth away. But the word of Yahuwah endures forever. And this is the word which by the Besorah is preached on to you. Is y'all listening? This is the death, burial, resurrection. The Besorah. This is some eternal stuff right here. This ain't going nowhere. If you don't obey it, you going somewhere. But, but whoever hold on to the word, you ain't going nowhere. He got you. Are y'all with me? Yeah. I'm going to teach this thing. Let's get this in right quick. This is Think Part 8, y'all. Think P8. Listen. Um, let me see where, where I want to go. Romans 7, 22. You with us, Banks? You with us? Randall? Melissa, y'all in here? Stone? Daniels, y'all with us? Look at this. Twenty-two. <clears throat> For I delight in the law of Yah after the inward man. <clears throat> not the outer man, the inner man. A.K.A. not the carnal nature, the flesh. The Ruach in the spirit. For I delight in the law 
after the inward man. The light comes from how you think. I'm delighting in what, what y'all say, Yahuwah say. Is y'all listening? I delight in what Yahuwah say. That's what I delight in, Edna Hogan. Beautiful wife of mine. I delight after the most high in the inward man. The carnal man don't don't like y'all. Whoever carnal don't like teaching like I teach. They rather they rather hear about Jesus and how he did it all. So you can finish sinning. Cause we just helpless sinners. You can finish sinning and you're going to heaven. All you gotta do is believe in Jesus. That's what they teach. We, we, we teach that the Mashiach, Yahuwah HaMashiach, is the word of Yah, and the process is for you to obey the Most High through obeying His word. That's what we teach. And it's by His unmerited favor, what they call grace, that empowers us to do it. But He resists the proud because you're going to do it your way. But he gives grace, unmerited favor unto the humble because you submitted to the most high. And when his word come, you obey it, even when you don't feel like it. When your flesh don't feel like obeying it, we do it anyway. So you can see the word came to, to change our thinking. That we're willing to obey Yah even when our flesh don't like it. Even when our agenda don't like it. Even when our program don't like it. The true believer obeys Yah no matter what. You got folks that don't believe Yah. They want to use him, take advantage of him. They want something from him, but they ain't gonna give him nothing. They ain't gonna they, they, they ain't gonna give him nothing. You know, them type folk. They're rejected. They're alone to see what they can get. Well, you can get out of here. Is y'all listening? <clears throat> So when you look at 22, it says, For I delight in the law of the Most High after the inward man. The inward man won't obey Yah. It's, not, it's the sinful man that want to do, do, do what it want to do. So in the 23rd verse, it say, I see another law in my members. <clears throat> Where is it at? In my members. What's the members? Your carnal thinking, your first birth, your Adam nature. That fallen evil nature has a law. It's sin and death. That's the law. That's why our first birth is disqualified. That's why people die. Because the, the first birth is disqualified. You're going to wither like the grass. That's what it told us. And the glory of it like the flower. Is y'all listening? It's temporary. That's why you got to switch from the temporary to the eternal. And obey Yah in the Ruach, Hakadah, in the spirit. If you agree, put a three. But I see... Another law of my members warn against the law of my mind. See, it's a war. Yeah. You got two natures fighting for my for, for, for my mind. You got the rule out of the spirit and the flesh. Flesh won't want, want your mind. You're thinking. But I see another law of my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. So he's saying, right, that there's a war going on and the stinking thinking is winning. He started going against the Mosiah. Though he don't want to. I see then... Another law of my members warned against the law of my mind, bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. Where is it at? In his flesh. His members, that's not the spirit, that's his flesh. 
So he said, oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Least he knew dead man walking. You got folks that don't know. You got folks that just as, oh, I love God. Thank you, Jesus. And this is scandalous and wicked and sinful and whole grudges and lustful and the life of the party. Tabletop dancers. Room full of jerks and women that twerks. <laughs> Old wretched man, 24. <clears throat> O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? He, at least he knew dead man walk. At least he knew that. Some people don't know that. Oh, Jesus did it all. You live like a devil. Oh, but Jesus did it all. I'm a believer. I'm a Christian. You wicked as a liar. Lustful. Groupy. Oh, I'm a Christian. Okay. I hear you. O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? So in the 25th verse, he said, I thank Yahuwah through Yahushua HaMashiach, our Adonai. So then with the mind, I serve the law of Yah, but with the flesh, the law of sin. So you got two different things here. You got two different things here. You're right, Lanehart. That's the problem. They keep feeding it. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of Yah. If you're going to live, Deuteronomy 8 and 3. <clears throat> Let's close out, y'all. I got to get out of here. So you see in the 25th verse, you say, I thank uh, uh, the Most High through Yahushua Mashiach, our, our master. So then with the mind, I myself serve the law of Yah, but with the flesh, the law of sin. So in my inner man, I'm serving Yah, but with the outer man, this fleshly man, this First Adam nature, I, I serve sin. Are y'all with me? But it don't stop right there, y'all. The conversation is broken up in chapters and verses so you can navigate through the conversation, through the letter, but that's not the end of the conversation. Let's keep going. Eight and one. There's therefore now no condemnation of them who are in the Messiah, not in Gandhi, not in Mohammed, Imams and all that. No, get that out of here. Yeah, get to go on with that. Yeah, yoga. Get out of here. Zodiac. Gone. See so you in here, Denise Wilkins. Romans 81. There's therefore now no condemnation of them that who are in the Messiah who walk not after the flesh. You see, the flesh is going to sin. So, so, so you got to be in the Messiah and you can't walk after the flesh, but after the spirit. Y'all see that? He was splitting too, like he's schizophrenic. He said, with, with the mind, I serve the most high, but with, with this flesh, I serve sin. So the only, the only way to get away from it is being the Messiah and then get away from the flesh. Cause if you, if you're in the flesh, you're going to sin. Can y'all see that? It's all in your thinking. If you go, if you prefer your sinful thinking over your spiritual thinking, you're dead. You got to choose Yah over yourself. And you got to do it daily. That's why Paul said, I die daily. You got to do it every day. I got to choose the word over, over my fleshly desires. I got I to gotta choose uh, uh, the word over my pride. I got to choose the word over my, my, my sexual appetite. I got to choose the word over my drug abuse, I, my, my alcohol abuse. My, I got to choose the word over money. Yeah, because the most I tell you to do with your money too. And that's where some people draw the line because they fleshly. Yeah, they are the flesh. Yeah. You got some folks that are used to people of Yah up and want to holler the gospel is free. No, the, the, the gospel costs you your whole entire life. You're bought with a price and your life is no longer your own. You're everything you got belong to Yah. And he tell you to give to the household of prayer. That's what he tell you to do. But when you're carnal, you don't want to hear that. You'd rather give it to the bar and to the grocery store and to the purse maker and to the, yeah. Anything natural, fleshly, you with that. Spiritual, oh man, you ain't giving your money for that. Something wrong with you. You'll find out. 
But there is therefore now no condemnation of them that who are in the Messiah, who walk not after the flesh. You got to deny yourself, but after the spirit. Is y'all listening? You got to change the way you think. That's it. How many of y'all agree with a three? Put a three in here to change the way you think. You want the most high to change the way you think. If you agree, put a three. You want him to do it. Put a three. I'm finna get out of here, y'all. If you repent, put a four. Give him permission to do it. You want him to? Give him permission. Put a four. I don't want to live carnal no more. Put a four. Put a five. Let's pray. Spirit living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to be in your presence even once again. We're in your presence because we need you desperately. Help us, deliver us even from ourselves. Deliver us from ourselves, for we need you desperately. Help, Yahuwah. Help your children. Save us even from ourselves right now. We want to change the way we think. We want to meditate in your word both day and night so we can be like that tree planted by the river's water that brings forth its fruit in due season. We want to bring forth our fruit in due season. This is the season, and you're the reason. Deliver us, and we'll be careful to give you the praise, any honor, not only now, but forever. In the matchless name, Yahusha, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. And I'm on. That was the lesson for the day. I pray we all continue to obey everything the most I say. Is that okay? That's okay. All right, y'all. I got to get out of here. Y'all continue to pray for one another. Continue to pray for me. Uh, yeah. Pray for, pray for our families. We pray for yours. Y'all be Baruch and uh, Baraka Shalom. I'm gone.